All right, so let's get into qualitative versus quantitative variables. Qualitative variables are variables that allow for classification of individuals based on an attribute. Um, and then quantitative variables are numerical measures, i.e. numbers. Um, and the values of quantitative variables can be added or subtracted and provide meaningful results. Another good rule of thumb is can you take the well, you would know it as the average, although it's technically one of many averages, but the one where you add them all up and divide by how many there are, that one. It's called the arithmetic mean, or the mean, we will call it when we get to there in chapter three. All right, so let's look here. The type of wood used to build a kitchen table, that's qualitative for sure, like oak, maple, pecan, that kind of thing. That's a quality. You can't add up oak plus maple, you know. Quantitative, it, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, metal won in the Olympics. That would be like gold, silver, or bronze, right? So that's also qualitative because, again, you can't do a meaningful mathematical subtraction of gold versus bronze. You know gold is better than bronze, but you don't know by how much. Okay. And the number of times your internet service goes down in the next 30 days, that is quantitative. So, for example, it went down 10 times for me, that kind of thing. Now, how much time your internet is down? So my internet's down for 3 hours and 22 minutes and 14 seconds. That's quantitative. The type of calculator you bought for Math 133, or if you're an online student, um, the computer program you bought, like Excel or StatCrunch, that kind of thing, that is definitely qualitative. Even though calculators have numbers like 83 and 84, or Excel is Excel 2010 versus Excel 2003, that kind of thing, the numbers there don't really mean anything. The money that each student in our class spends on their calculator or Excel for this course, that would be quantitative, right? How much money? You know, $102 or whatever. Your shoe size, you know, I'm a size 9 or a size 10 or that kind of thing. That's a number, right? You can subtract, you know, um, for example, somebody with a size 10 shoe is bigger than somebody with a size 8 shoe. Um, we'll talk about whether it's a meaningful result. Technically, this one could get argued to be a little bit qualitative as well. I know that, but I, I choose to err on the side of quantitative on that one, which is a whole other discussion, which I guess I can bring up at this point in time just as well as any other, namely that there are times in, in this class and, and in statistics in general when one right answer might not be the thing. Um, so it, it might be in some cases you'll treat shoe size like qualitative and in some cases you'll treat it like quantitative. And it sort of depends on what you want out of it, what you want to do, what you what your goals are, that kind of thing. All right, now I saved the best for last, the social security number for people in our class. Now I know it's a number, I know, but I'm gonna rock your world here. It's qualitative. So something to think about. I mean, if my social security number is one higher than yours, does that mean I'm better than you, worse than you, one better than you? What does that mean? And the answer is, it doesn't mean anything. It's a number, but it's really a number that's a label. It's not a number in terms of like the amount of time or you know that kind of thing. So numbers can often be qualitative. So let's think of some other numbers that this would work for. So social security number. Um, let me think. How about PIN numbers for your um, credit cards? How about your, oh, I don't know, jersey numbers? Like you're on you're on a baseball team, you know, is the person who wears the number two twice as good as the person number that wears number one or whatever? Um, how about phone numbers, zip codes, etc. Right? There are a lot of numbers in your life that aren't really numbers. Your credit card number. I mean, pick something. So they're really just more labels. They're not really numbers. You know, you can't take zip codes and add them all up and divide by how many people there are in the class and get anything remotely useful. Right? So it's really qualitative, not quantitative, even though it's numerical. All right. I'll meet you back here next time to talk about discrete and continuous.